All new tonight at 10 in Athens, family is remembering a toddler who they say shined so brightly. Tonight, family members of two-year-old Kaysan Sonny Grady released balloons in his memory as they tried to put a tragedy behind them. WAFF 48's Romario Garner is live in Monrovia where family and friends gathered tonight. Romario, what did you see? Margo, they say putting an event on like this is just one of many ways to honor Sonny and keep them in, his in their hearts. And also, not that many tears were shed tonight because like Sonny, they wanted to keep a positive attitude. One, two, three. I love you, Sonny! As balloons pierce the sky in remembrance of two-year-old Kason Sonny Grady, the emotions of his loved one soared even higher. We definitely gonna miss him. But he stays here in our heart. Athens police found Sonny unresponsive Friday and rushed him to the hospital where he later died from blunt force trauma. Sonny's stepfather, Keyshawn Allen, admitted in court he punched the child but did not intend to kill him. His autopsy revealed he had blood in his stomach and a broken collarbone. How can a person do this to a defenseless two-year-old who, who didn't have any other choice but to sustain those injuries? Sonny's great-grandmother, Linda Hartley, says she's still having a hard time trying to process what happened. She says even at such a young age, he could light up a room instantly. If you see any of his pictures, you'll see the biggest grin, the biggest smile, uh, that he could, could muster up. Many loved ones who attended the balloon release say the heartache is hard to put into words, but Sonny's uncle RJ Robinson says it's a bit more manageable thanks to this kind of support. It's very important for us to come together because we're going to need to lean on each other for this. It's unimaginable and it's only going to take love. It's only going to take being able to, to talk to each other and help them understand. Hartley says although Sonny was taken from this world too early, his presence will always be present. Wherever you are, just know that you have an abundance of love. And even though this happened to you, you know, don't, don't hold on to it because your family loves you. We love you more than what, you, what we can ever express. Our funeral services for Sonny will be held next Friday at 11 a.m. at St. Luke's on Sparkman, and a public viewing will be available at 10 a.m. Live in Monrovia, I'm Mario Gardner, 48 News on your side.